The Department of Homeland Security admits it lied in the case of two Border Patrol agents sent to prison for doing their jobs. We'll have a special report on why the Department of Homeland Security lied to the United States Congress. Also, scathing criticism of the Department of Homeland Security for its repeated management and leadership failures. That story and a rising number of states resisting efforts to introduce a national driver's license, a key measure to counteract terrorism. The author of the Real ID Act, Congressman Jim Sensenbrenner, is among our guests here tonight. Stay with us. More outrage tonight over the prison beating of former Border Patrol agent Ignacio Ramos. Members of Congress are now demanding an investigation into that attack. In addition, damaging new information tonight showing that the Department of Homeland Security lied to Congress, information contradicting the Bush administration's version of events and the stated reason for prosecuting those two Border Patrol agents. Casey Wyan has our report. Congressional Republicans are again demanding that President Bush intervene on behalf of former Border Patrol agents Ignacio Ramos and Jose Compeon, now serving 11 and 12 years in prison for shooting and wounding a Mexican illegal alien drug smuggler. As we've reported, Ramos was beaten severely in prison over the weekend by men yelling insults in Spanish. If these men, after, especially after this assault, are murdered in prison. If one of them lose their lives, there's going to be some kind of impeachment talk in Capitol Hill. Supporters of the former agents deliver nearly 300,000 petitions to Congress Wednesday, demanding they be released. 80 lawmakers, all Republicans, are sponsoring a bill that would pardon Ramos and Compeon. So far, President Bush has refused to even consider the idea. This decision is up to one person, the President of the United States. I don't know how many letters individually and collectively we have all sent and signed, and yet the indifference by this White House is unacceptable. Let's not wait too long with that sober look before you do what is right, and doing what is right is to return these men to their families and let the families understand that justice still prevails in America. At the same time, lawmakers released a long-awaited report on the case from the Homeland Security Department's Office of Inspector General. It fails to answer several key questions, including why did the Justice Department prosecute the agents before the report was complete? And why did Homeland Security investigators tell several members of Congress they had evidence the agents were out to shoot Mexicans, when Inspector General Richard Skinner admitted to lawmakers this week that was not true? I asked... Inspector General Richard Skinner, where are those statements and are they true? These statements that were made by your investigators, sir, are they true? And he said, under oath, I'm sorry, Congressman, we misled you. Those statements were not true. Culberson is now demanding the resignation of three Homeland Security Department investigators. The key question remains, why did U.S. Attorney Johnny Sutton choose to vigorously prosecute two Border Patrol agents for actions resulting from their pursuit of a drug smuggler, yet grant immunity, medical care, and a temporary border crossing card to an admitted illegal alien drug smuggler? Sutton's ties to President Bush date back at least to the mid-1990s when he served as chief criminal justice advisor to then Texas Governor Bush. Lou? And it's clear this prosecution originated in Washington, D.C. Uh, the inspector general's report, uh, the, the idea that to hear Skinner, the IG, uh, sit there and just say blithely, we, we lied to you, Congress. Uh, we've been reporting on this uh, broadcast from the outset, and we were the first to do so that this thing didn't make any sense from, from the very beginning. Why yeah, in the world is the White House, why are the Democrats in Congress not responding on this issue? The Democrats in Congress uh, are really silent on this issue, and it, and it is, as you say, Lou, quite surprising. We talked to uh, staff members of Duncan Hunter, who is the sponsor of that uh, right. bill that would pardon the agents. They say they hope to have Democratic support for that bill soon. But in reality, he said that the, the, the source that I spoke with said he thought maybe the Democrats are thinking this is a Republican issue, and they don't want to sign on to it at this point. He thinks when enough public pressure is put on the Democrats, enough outrage from constituents, right. and it's not just the people who live in uh, Republican districts who are outraged about this case, right. that then they'll start seeing some Democrats sign on to this effort, and fairly soon, Lou. I, I mean, this is outrageous. They actually prosecuted this case before the investigation uh, was completed. 
Uh, yeah, and, and, and it's one of the one of the the unanswerable at this point questions about the timing of all this. You know, as we've re been reporting for several days, the fact that Johnny Sutton has said they couldn't go after the drug smuggler because they didn't have enough evidence uh, uh, to to prosecute him for smuggling 750 pounds of marijuana into the United States. Well, the OIG report clearly states it's out. It's public today. It clearly states that a border patrol agent knew uh, six days in advance of his. His decision to grant immunity to that drug smuggler that in fact the smuggler admitted that he was on a drug right. smuggling mission when he was shot and the further fact is this drug smuggler this illegal alien drug smuggler that became the darling of Johnny Sutton and his prosecutorial team uh, in Texas he in point of fact had been arrested subsequently then for a million dollars uh, in in drugs for a second time and they held that away uh, from the defense and from the jury a lot of information was held uh, from the defense and the jury. Uh, you know, we've talked about the yeah. trial transcripts we're still waiting to receive, and uh, that, that's going to shed a lot more light on this case, Lou. Yeah, it can. And, you know, one thing that I think a, a light that needs to be shined is on the U.S. Justice Department, the Attorney General of that department, and the Department of Homeland Security, because this uh, I, I, is just, is, as Congressman Rohrbacher said, Something smells here, and it smells very badly. Case of Wyan, thank you for your outstanding reporting on this from the very beginning. We appreciate it. Uh, thank you, sir. Okay. It brings us to the subject of our poll. Do you believe that DH officials, DHS officials, should be held accountable for lying to Congress about Border Patrol agents Campion and Ramos? Yes or no? Please cast your vote at bluedimes.com. The results coming up here later. Coming right up, a blistering assessment of management and leadership failures at the Department of Homeland Security, that special report. And then, are you fed up with Washington? A third political party appears to be in the making. We'll tell you about Unity 08. And a deadly Arctic blast is gripping this country. 